Welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will see the tools that are required for our demo. First, we need to install Fiddler. Fiddler is basically for inspecting the results of request and response. And then you may want to use either SQL Server or MySQL basically for storing our backend data. And then you can use any of the different IDEs. You can use either Visual Studio Code or Visual Studio 2015 or Visual Studio 2017. And finally, since we are working with Web API, we need to install .NET Web API from NuGet package section. So we will jump into demo. First, we need to download Fiddler. Fiddler is a web debugging tool by Telerik. So using this, you can see the request and response that are being sent and communicated between the client and the server. So just enter your email and say download. So once Fiddler is done, go to Google and type download Visual Studio. The first link that appears, download IDE, click that page and you can basically download Visual Studio Code or Visual Studio Community 2017 for a free download. So just select this and in executable file will appear so basically click on that and install visual studio 2017 which basically contains asp.net and for sql server just enter download sql server and click on the first link sql server downloads and go and download sql server developer edition so once these three are done and once visual studio is done go to your visual studio and go to a new project and in Visual Studio C Sharp go to ASP.NET Web Application .NET Framework and select OK. Within this new ASP.NET Web Application page select Web API and click OK. So a new .NET Web API project will be created and once the project is created go to tools and within tools go to NuGet package manager and within the NuGet package manager click package manager console. When the package manager console opens just type install package microsoft.asp.net.webapi and specify the version the latest version to install and hit enter as i have already installed dotnet web api it is saying that it already exists in project web application but if you have not installed it will go on installed dotnet web api so now we have all the tools and software that are required for building restful applications in the next set of video tutorials, we will learn more about REST and we will come back to Visual Studio to seeing a demo as well. Thank you. Tutorialspoint.com. Simply easy learning.